As we go overnight tonight, again, that breeze from the north will continue to bring in that cooler air along with those clear skies. 15 mile per hour winds right now in Biflo, 15 in Melbourne, 14 mile per hour winds in New Smyrna Beach. So still quite breezy along the coast. As you work your way a little bit further inland, that wind starts to calm down. As we go through the day tomorrow, the winds are going to pick right back up. The other thing that wind is doing, it's really uh, whipping up that surf. So until uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, we do have the high surf advisory in effect. We have those waves that are pretty big out there, about 4 to 8 eight feet. Uh, water temperature also in the mid 60s. The rip current risk for tomorrow is going to be high, so do be aware that that surf looks a little dangerous out there. Be sure to swim to your lifeguard if you are going to be entering the water, but it's going to be a little cool outside. You might not want to jump into the ocean with temperatures uh, tomorrow morning in the low 50s, upper 40s, 43 expected for the low there in the villages, 40 in Ocala, getting uh, 50 degrees expected for the low in Orlando and in Buffalo, 50 degrees for that low in St. Cloud. So what can we expect with future casts? Not a whole lot. We are dealing with nice clear skies as we go towards 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're looking up with plenty of sunshine. It's still going to be breezy with those winds from the north, so temperatures will remain on the cool side again tomorrow. By the afternoon, watching for a few clouds to build in off the coast. Once we get in towards 6 o'clock, still mostly clear skies, and that's the way we'll stay, mostly clear as we head into your Monday night. So tomorrow afternoon, daytime highs a little bit warmer than what we saw today. Expecting that daytime high to hit 71 in Ocala all the way down through Claremont, 71 in Orlando and Biflo. Should hit about 71 as well in St. Cloud. Kissimmee will get a few more degrees warmer, up to about 73. The land will stay in the 60s along with Daytona Beach, expecting that daytime high of 68. New Smyrna Beach should also hit about 68 degrees and then expecting 69 from Titusville down through Melbourne and down through Palm Bay. So over the next seven days, here's what we can expect. Once we got done with that rain yesterday, we're dealing with a great seven day forecast. Again, tomorrow we'll get up to about 71 degrees and it will keep building that heat through the week. 74 degrees by Tuesday. Uh, we'll get up to 76 on Wednesday. We'll see just a little bit more cloud cover building in through midweek. By Thursday, though, still mostly sunny, high of 78 degrees. We're back into the low 80s as we head into Friday. And then next weekend for now, looking absolutely gorgeous. Mostly sunny skies on Saturday, high of 82 and getting quite hot on Sunday. We're going to make it all the way up to a daytime high of 86, which is a little bit above normal, but soak it up with all that sunshine.